So what is a Filipino fighting bench? The Filipino fighting bench or beam or banco is really unique to the Laguna province on the island of Luzon in the Philippines. So the story I was told is when the farmers would have confrontations, they would meet in the rice paddies and they would balance on the dikes or the borders of the rice paddies and they would fight. But instead of using sticks, they would use their bolo machetes. So now it's become a game. Beam fighting has a lot of benefits, especially in understanding range and of course balance, but also not being too aggressive and over swinging. So my shop is not set up for carpentry and I'm definitely not a carpenter. I'm more of a wood carver, but I thought I would give this project a shot. It's mostly a traditional interlocking wood bench but I had some concerns with the back and forth rocking and a lot of my students are heavyweights and that could be very messy if it broke and fell. So I decided to use braces and screws, but traditionally it's all interlocking. So I'm trying to get the project ready for our event tomorrow, the Gathering of the Tribes. The Gathering of the Tribes is an event gathering all the Filipino martial arts schools in the state of Florida. We have a barbecue and we get together and we fight in a friendly way. No politics, just art and brotherhood. This is how you torch pine. Take your torch. Shosugi ban or yakisugi is a Japanese method of wood preservation it's known in the west as burnt timber cladding it's a way of drying out the wood with heat i just do it because it looks cool so like i said my shop is not set up for carpentry so the bench needs some fine tuning we're going to go to blair's shop Blair's a good friend of mine. He's going to help me do some fine tuning of the bench and get it stable. Check out his Instagram, Hog Eat Hog. So now that I added the cross braces, it seems pretty stable. Let's take it to the gathering, see if it works. If you enjoyed this video, please consider a subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you and take care.